So in true Catholic fashion, don't worry, I'm not going to ask for correction today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's sign ourselves with the Son of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, as I said, you're very welcome to our church this afternoon. <coughs> For this very happy occasion. So Ben and Francisca are getting married today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> because though couples are getting married, they're not necessarily coming to the church to do that. And it's great to see people witnessing to what they have faith in, to what they hold dear. In this case, faith in the love of God and in Jesus Christ. So congratulations on that. With that in mind, just let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, Lord, and in your kindness of all which you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union we have created may be kept safe by your assistance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. So if you now can be seated, let's listen to what God has to say in his word by the mouth. So I ask the first reader to come forward today. Who that is? Thanks, Chris. And uh, first reading, a reading from the book of Sirach. A loving partner is a safe shelter. Whoever finds one has found a great treasure. A loving partner is something beyond price. There is no injury there for A loving partner is a life saving family, and those who respect their love find true love. For us, a person is so is their love one. The work of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks be to you. We now share is full of the goodness of the Lord. They are happy in the Lord is the Lord, the people he has chosen and his own. The Lord looks on those who are in the earth, and those who are in his world. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. And our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find strength. We trust in His holy name. The earth is full of the good of May we not be upon us all as we put, but glory The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. And the question is, I will stand as we. Listen to the words of Jesus in the gospel. So the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatsoever? He said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made the male and female and said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, we must not separate. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Every seat, just, just for a moment. Thank you. I normally make a promise to a couple that on their wedding day, I'll try not to preach or say anything that lasts over 20 minutes. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I wouldn't even know how to preach for 20 minutes. Um, having been in churches in my own country up to about three weeks ago and sitting where you probably are now, I know my, my gluteus maximus muscles get fairly tired and twitchy if I'm sitting for too long. So I know what you're feeling. <laughs> so what's this all about? What's marriage about? I normally consult Google to answer such questions. Um, there are some really interesting definitions of what marriage is. Uh, well, two, well, two of my favorite ones. I'll begin with what Groucho Marx had to say about marriage. Marriage is an institution, but who wants to spend their life living in an institution? And my second favorite quote, and I say this in the nature of full disclosure, is there anyone here who suffers from arthritis? Yes, no, yeah, a little bit, okay, point, right? So please do not take offense to what I'm about to say. That's what I'm saying. I don't know who said this. I can't find the quote it says, but anyway, it goes like marriage is a bit like arthritis. It's painful, but you learn to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting observation. Oh, fair enough. I got the thumbs up there. I feel like I'm on Australia. Australia's got talent. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> I suppose from the church, from the Catholic Church's point of view, what Ben and Sister are embarking on today, well, they're only signing the contract today. This begun some time ago. Probably began at the moment of their conception that God has earmarked these two for each other. So what we're doing today is that, well, obviously they eventually met through the grace of God, and they got on well together, and they began dating, and they, they got engaged, and decided, okay, let's take the next step. Next step, obviously, the marriage. So we began in the moment of God. Because that's what God is, is love. And love is love. Is love. <laughs> that's why it's really the warning. Sorry about this, it's often happening. Especially this time in the year, anyway. Um, but I'd hate anyone to think that this, what we're doing today, is, not, is just about signing some sort of contract. It's covenant. Anywhere where humanity invites God to take part in making a special, a really solemn promise, is a covenant. Obviously, beginning with Noah and Moses. With the Ten Commandments and trickling down into the sacraments that the church celebrates, and the seven sacraments, marriage is one of them. And we call the sacrament why? Because it reveals to us and to the two individuals concerned God's love. So they reveal God's love to each other. And in turn, I was about to say, you're here. Why? 
Why? Because of your presence. Don't get worried. It's not about what you can give them today. But then has assured me he has a, a card reader in the back of the church <laughs> and he accepts speech that I'm very interested in. You might even get three from five points. I don't know about that. Anyway, it's about your presence. It's about you being present to this couple. That, look, they're going to have good times, they're going to have bad times, like every other married couple in history, right? And there'll be times when they will need God's support. You can reveal that support to them by being them there for them when they most need it. I just want to remind them and sister today that this marriage, I like using this quote a bit, that after Princess Diana separated from Charles, she gave that famous interview to the BBC. And one of the lines of that interview which really has struck me is when she admitted that Charles, she was too, but anyway, that Charles was in another relationship. And she said something like, yes, there were three of us in the marriage. When there are going to be three beings in this marriage too, Ben, Siska, and God. So when times get tough, which they will, don't quit. Turn to him both. And even if you just said an our father to him, and ask him for his help. That's what you need to do. Pray together, think of it. Think of the love that you're celebrating today and how much today that means to you. I'm going to end with a very short story. Very short. And it's about a pig and a chicken. Now this pig and chicken found their way to New York City. And on the last night of this day, they decided they'd go to Manhattan and have a big night out. So on the way back to the hotel, which is quite early, yeah, quite early in the morning, or quite late that night, they found an online diner. And outside the diner, there was a menu board. Bacon and eggs, $2.50. The chicken turned to the pig and said, do you know, that's a great bargain. We should go for it. Pig was a little bit more circumspect than the chicken. I've always thought pigs were a highly intelligent, intelligent animal anyway. And the pig turned to the chicken and said, do you know, for you, that's only a voluntary contribution. For me, that's a lifetime commitment. Think about it. <laughs> okay, so with that in mind, if I could ask the witnesses now to come forward. So Chris and Jesse. So we can stand on the side of our, our happy couple. Now what I'd like Ben and Siska to do is you're the four local people. Okay? I'm not, I don't want to marry each other. You want to marry each other. So what I'd say is turn towards each other. You're making these vows and promises to each other. Okay? Since it's your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony 
I now invite you to join your right hands and declare your consent before God and His Church. Okay. So then you can just repeat that for me. I then take you to step for my lawful life. I then take you to step for my lawful life. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better and for worse. For better and for worse. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us proud. Until death do us proud. I sister, take you then for my lawful husband. I sister, take you then for my lawful husband. I must tell you a quick story. I had a problem the last time. And the husband, well, got that line. I then take your sister as my lawful wife. And you were exercising. May the Lord bless. May the Lord bless these rings, which we will give to each other as a sign of love and fidelity. Yes. 
smiles and laughter. The glorious tree had fallen before us, who would have wanted to share in the joy and happiness of this day. We thank God for the happy memories they have brought with us. May God one day unite us again, more near us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those who are sick, lonely, and struggling with the day's work. May they be strengthened by God's help and aided by their friends. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God, you are love itself, and you have made man and woman in your likeness. Hear our prayers for Ben and Siska. May they bring your love to others throughout the years of their marriage. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God wills that his children be of one heart in charity, that those who are Christian fall upon him in the prayer of God's family, which our Lord Jesus Christ has told us. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let's humbly invoke God's blessing upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the bond of marriage. So if you can sit at the stage and if you need to be silent. God, Holy Father, maker of the whole world, who created man and woman in your own image, and will that the union be crowned with your blessing. We humbly, humbly beseech you that these your servants who are joined today in the marriage covenant. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon Siska and upon Ben, the companion for life. And may the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts of faith from an eye, so that living up together the gift of matrimony, they may be known for the integrity of their conduct. In happiness, may they praise you, O Lord. In sorrow, may they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil, and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. And after a happy old age, together with the circle of friends that surround them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God, the eternal Father, keep you on one heart and love one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you, and abide always in your homes. Amen. So I now invite Chris and Jess to come forward, and also the friends to give the company so we can sign the marriage register. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hello. Mereka berdua, Pak. Mereka berdua, Pak. 